This USB-C adapter is the only adapter you will ever need, whether at home or even if you travel about. Now I know every use case can be different. For me, I needed a hub that can be used between devices, no additional power needed, and gave me all the ports I need. So let me show you the Lemorel USB-C 7-in-1 adapter. Now this device is cheap and does the job I need it to do. I can use it on my Apple iPad, a Windows-based laptop, or even my MacBook Pro. This device will set you back about £32 at the time of this recording in the UK and $35 in the States. But keep an eye out as there tends to be offers on them from time to time. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box. This is Lemorel's 7-in-1 USB hub box, so it's fairly basic, there's not a lot to it. We go ahead and open this up and we pull out the USB adapter itself. It's fairly, it's not made of plastic. I think the side bit is made of plastic, but the, the main bit is some sort of aluminium shell. The quality of the USB-C cable is not bad. Um, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or snap or anything. And you have the USB-C connection here. Also inside the box, you have some stickers. Uh, a bit random some of these stickers are, but there are some stickers on here if you ever wanna use them. And finally, it comes with a bookmark. I am your bookmark. So yeah, another random thing to put inside the box, but hey, I'm sure they're always useful. So let's have a look at what this adapter gives you. The adapter gives you seven ports that you can use through one USB-C connection. It has a HDMI connection to hook up a display that supports 4K at 30 Hertz. There's a gigabit ethernet connection on the back of it, which can also run at 100 megabits or even 10 megabits if anyone even uses those speeds anymore. It has two USB 2 3.0 ports to plug in any USB type A device such as memory sticks. And these USB 3 ports support up to five gigabits per second in transfer speed. Alongside this, you also have a USB-C power delivery port, which can supply up to 100 watts. Don't worry all you new MacBook Pro owners, you can still charge your laptop via USB-C and you don't have to use the MagSafe connection. Finally, you have an SD card reader. And just in case you're like me and you can never find an adapter when you're looking for one, there's also a micro SD slot as well. And these slots support up to 104 megabits per second in transfer speed. So let's go ahead and put these to the tests and transfer some files and see how long they take. Now, before I get told in the comments, I know there are a lot of varying factors for this, but I'll show you anyway. Here is the USB drive. You can see it's USB 3 and let's just pop that in. So I've loaded up the drive with a test folder and I have a couple of clips here. So um, two and a half gig and one and a half gig and a gig. So we'll just transfer them to the folder. And um, yeah, let's quickly have a quick look at how long it takes. So this is the file transfer speed. So that took approximately about three and a half minutes to transfer all of that. Now, keep in mind, I was transferring to a USB drive, which is not solid state. So it has the traditional uh, HDD inside. So keep that one in mind. I have to say for the price, I think it's a good buy. It's got a good build quality and it ticks all the boxes for me. Let me know down in the comments if this is something you would buy or something you would use. My affiliate links are down there as always. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.